What's up guys, Dub here, and what do you know, it's the final video for the Call of Duty Ghost Invasion DLC. This time guys, we have Mutiny, and I'm playing Blitz on it, and let me just put it out here guys, Mutiny is fucking awesome. I'm not saying it's the best map or anything like that, but let me tell you guys, this map is just unique as fuck. I mean, dude, seriously, you get to play on a pirate ship? What? Are you joking? This is awesome, and guys, it has two awesome of those little chem care packages in it so yeah you'll get to see one of them in this game um so stay tuned but anyways guys what we have going on is um this map right here is very i don't want to say three lane obviously guys it's the first thing i always look at maps is their general design um this map is not very three lane i guess you would say it is much more of i almost want to say like one way is a four lane yeah i want to say like a four lane but then like the middle two lanes actually like go over each other one goes over the other um but guys what you're watching just really quick i want to say is a blitz gameplay that is epic as fuck um this one guys is so close it's an epic comeback near the end um i actually genuinely did not think we we're gonna win this one but we fucking somehow pulled it out of our ass um but this map is really cool. One thing I've really been talking a lot about in this DLC is the complete attention to detail that these maps, uh, they, they, they take the devs. I mean, props to the devs of these maps. They just made some gorgeous maps this time. Um, I mean, this is easily, so far, probably the best DLC, even though I've actually been a fan of this deal of the DLCs for Ghost. I feel like they've had the Ghost so far has had some of the best DLCs out of any Call of Duty game. Um, this map is just cool i mean you get to deal with pirates pirate ships you get the ship bombardment on this off the side you get ghost pirates i mean what else can you want from a pirate map i mean a complete broadside cannon firing some ghost pirates you got buckets of ale downstairs i mean this this map is just cool as shit uh, design wise like I said earlier it's kind of a four lane but it's not it's simple but it's not simple at the same time it's a really good map uh, in that aspect I'm just gonna put out there guys I'm actually playing against some guys that are pretty good so my gameplay isn't gonna be the absolute best but it's okay it's okay um but yeah I mean this map <sighs> probably I mean like I said in the first review Pharaoh is gonna be one of my favorites it is just a really good map this map though is pretty fucking good too um there's definitely some uh good things and bad things about this map though the bad things are uh the pirate ship it, it's kind of got a plus and a minus the pirate ship is actually a pretty good a pretty cool place to go but at the same time you can get, can get picked off but i feel like there's not very many good views of between things like the, the paths they give you are kind of predetermined. I feel like sometimes I sh there's places I should be able to look across the map, and it turns out I just can't. Um, so what you're seeing, guys, obviously we are down 2-8 to eight at halftime. We are just getting pooped on at this point, but it gets a lot better near the end. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of places I feel like I should be able to look across, but like, there's something in the way. There's this in the way. Uh, there's, there's a post in the middle of the way. Or like, I want to jump somewhere, and I can't because there's a fucking post. It's a three foot wide hole. Man, let me tell you, that post that's six inches wide, you know, standing right in the middle of all my shit, that post is fucking me up. Um, the one cool thing I have to say, I mean, I guess, I don't know if I want to say a cool thing. Yeah, I'll say a cool thing. By the way, yes, I did just kill somebody with my care package and we got the ghostly crew so there we go you're gonna check what out check out what that is uh, although i do do really bad with it Ooh, ghost pirate um the the you can't really fall in the water that well i was kind of fucking around i think it's this game actually that i was kind of fucking around like oh let's see if we can jump in the water uh and, and i couldn't do it i was really expecting it to be like oh you're dead but i really could not find such a thing it was really kind of depressing almost so you see i just got a double killer right there one was with the ghostly crew one was with my attack dog and now he's hurting um, as you can see right here, there's a lot of places to look over. That middle area is very, very uh, used, 
I guess would be the term. Uh, there's definitely be a lot of engagements there in the middle of the map on, on both sides. It's a very... I mean, everything feeds this spot right here where I'm at. So definitely be careful when you're around there. Make sure you take some good cover because that's how you survive in Ghost is with good cover and head glitching. So yeah, I mean, that basically covers it. The outsides of the maps really are not used all that much. You start seeing people up on the boat, but then at the same time, you really don't because of the fact that you can't get picked off. They designed the boat so that the side barriers actually do not cover you very much. That way people can't just sit in the boat and camp. And I did just see, I did see one thing in the dev notes of this. Originally, you could get into the crow's nest of the boat, which would have been very interesting. Get up there and snipe or something, but it turned out they felt it was actually too easy for people, or for you to get a bunch of kills up there. It was too hard to kill somebody that was up there. So, just kind of really interesting note for that. Um... But yeah, what you guys are seeing is this is going to be a very interesting gameplay near the end. It's getting very close. We were down 2 to 8, now it's now 9 to 12, and I'm playing a solid defense. This area right here is actually, I didn't think it was going to be very easy to defend at first, but it actually really is. Um, we got a lot of good views. There's only three ways it can come in. All three ways, you got really good views to the sides. So you get to eventually just kind of rape them. Um, and then we get really lucky. Some people on our team running support streaks end up saving our asses. But anyways, guys, this is Dub, and I'm just going to let you enjoy the gameplay. This map, I'm going to be giving it an 8.5 right now. It's a pretty good one, so I'll shut up and let you enjoy. Peace. Federation scored. Hostile infiltrated. Defend our position. Enemy team scored. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Team member made it through. Friendly Oracle online. Friendly Oracle online. Friendly air superiority inbound. Federation scored. Nice work, team. Well done. 